Do I play stakes games? I play the highest stakes chess games in the business. You want to play I beat you, I ban you? I'll play. Okay, so you're saying you're going to play I beat you, I ban you. But I have to play Sicilian. Is that the, is that what we're doing here? What's your name? Daddy L. Cohen is challenging me. Daddy, you've been here before. You've been here. You've been around. And you're willing to put your entire Twitch life on the line? I know you know the rules. You, you ran away for a second. I saw you. You ran away. You, check, you can check it out. I won't even mind. Just keep your, Don't challenge me. If you don't want to get banned, don't challenge me. If people are new here, just play C5. Deal. If people are new here, this is I beat you, I ban you. I will literally ban a member of the community that's been around. Been to, I don't know, every stream? Lots of streams. And your life is on the line right now. Look at this. Took your pun. You didn't take it back. And I don't mind. I actually like it. I enjoy banning people. So, better bring your A game. I'm just making this up. I usually play for tricks and traps. But with with it all on the line, I'm, I'm playing this. This was recommended by somebody. So, good enough for me. Somebody... Maybe on Discord said, hey, what do you think about this early bishop b4, queen a5 stuff? I said, I don't know. Maybe it's all right. I played one game with it. I won against a really strong player. I was playing like some other 23, 2400. And I won in like 10 moves. So maybe this is the secret to beating this, uh, this opening. I don't know. That's a good move. He's going to play knight d6 next. Seems reasonable to me. But now if he plays knight d6, I can take, and I should be able to take right here. Make the queen move. Maybe d5 is the follow-up for me. Queen's got to go somewhere. And I got two more pawns. Look how many pawns I have. And they're two center pawns. All the better. So, I'm actually going to miss not a smart kid. This might not have been a smart decision to play I beat you, I ban you versus a ban god. I don't know what it is about this line. It's actually, it's very interesting and it seems to work. <laughs> um, that being said, I still got to, you know, be a little bit cautious for the rest of the game. But... Somebody said, hey, in this line, put your bishop here, put your queen here. I don't know anything about it, but it seems to work really well. Maybe it's just rare. Maybe people just don't know what's going on. And you can maybe get a lot of quick wins with it. So it's an interesting recipe. It is something I would like to... It's not my normal response against the Smith Mora, but it's increasingly likely that I'll spend a little bit of time, uh, you know, actually studying it. All right, I'm just going to go here and here. He does kind of control e5, but I don't think it's a big deal. He's maybe hoping for, like, takes, takes, queen takes. Something, something, I miss it. I get checkmated. But I won't get checkmated. Promise. Here. Just have to worry about g7. If I can avoid getting checkmated on g7, I should be fine. And I expect at some moment I'm going to get kicked away. Uh, he actually has to be careful because I do have this potentially. But uh, yeah, okay, he's going to line up. I can tell. I can feel it. He's going to line up. All I got to do is not get mated on g7. And he doesn't have a move, right? G7 is unguarded. But I'm playing rook f5 with the intention of winning a piece. Uh, I always accept the Smith Mora. I generally accept every single gambit, which is usually the correct response. Um, in any serious gambit, 
usually you do want to accept it. The reason you don't is if you're not really comfortable with the gambit or you think you can just throw your opponent off by not doing it. But most gambits ought to be accepted because then you have more material, usually a pun. In the case of the Smith Mora, if you take it all, you have more puns, which usually means you should be able to win. Ooh, interesting. A mat, interesting enough. Some rook here. I give some check. Trade? I'm going to be really lame. I'm going to offer a queen trade, which I know can't be accepted. But it's also hard to not accept. All right, this is the bishop. I can take the bishop. I can attack your queen. I can do so many things. Ooh, not a smart kid. You made a real bad decision today, buddy. This is not going to end well for you. You better fight on. You better fight on to the bitter end. But it's not good. So, boom! It is over! <laughs> Now remind me your Twitch name so I can ban you. So, Daniel, do you have any uh, final words before we see you go for the rest of existence? I actually feel bad. Rip my 4K eggs. Wait, you're not even a regular? 4K? That's not even a lot. Haven't you been here forever? Come on, you're going to say nice words? You had a nice time and you learned a lot of openings. That's very wholesome. That's very wholesome. Uh, but, ah, hate to see you go. <sighs> Boom! You just got banned! You just got banned! You just got banned! You just got banned! <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to miss him. He was a good one. He was one of the good ones. All right, but we move on.